Imagine living in a world where paying for air becomes a norm. Sounds absurd, right? Now hold that thought and think about the digital cloud, the invisible air of the internet where we store our memories, works, and information. Why would anyone pay for something that's essentially intangible, especially when there are free alternatives available? Dive into the world of cloud storage, a realm where bytes and gigabytes become as precious as gold and diamonds. With an array of options available ranging from free to premium, the choice of cloud storage can seem like a daunting task. Consider the popular paid cloud storage services like Google One, Apple iCloud, and Dropbox. The primary allure of these services is the massive storage capacity they offer, often ranging from 100 gigabytes to a couple of terabytes. But this storage space comes with a price tag and it's not always light on the pocket. Now take a step back and think about the free alternatives. Services like Google Drive, Dropbox Basic, and Microsoft OneDrive offer a certain amount of storage space at no cost at all. Yes, the storage capacity is significantly less than their paid counterparts, but for the average user, is it really necessary to have a terabyte of cloud storage? Let's not forget that these free services often come with the same features as the paid ones. File sharing, easy access across devices, and the peace of mind knowing that your files are safe in the cloud. Of course, there's always the option to upgrade to a paid plan if the need arises. But until then, why spend money unnecessarily? Another factor worth considering is the cost of maintaining that paid cloud storage. It's not a one-time payment. It's a recurring expense, every month or every year. Imagine the amount of money that could be saved by simply using free alternatives. However, it's important to remember that not all that glitters is gold. Free cloud storage services often come with their own set of limitations, such as slower upload and download speeds, a reduced level of customer support, and potentially less robust security measures. But then again, it all boils down to individual needs and preferences. If someone is a professional photographer or a filmmaker dealing with large files on a daily basis, then perhaps a paid cloud storage service would be worthwhile. But for the average user who just needs a place to store some photos, documents, or back up their smartphone, the free alternatives could be more than sufficient. So, before reaching for the credit card to pay for that premium cloud storage service, take a moment to consider the alternatives. Weigh the pros and cons, and make an informed decision. After all, why pay for the digital air when there are ways to breathe it in for free? In the realm of cloud storage, it's not about being cheap or extravagant, it's about being smart and making the right choices. So reconsider the need for paid cloud storage. It might not be as essential as it first appears. Remember, in this digital age, every byte matters, and every byte saved is a byte earned.